This is a fall wall. It's one of the many things you can use to build with dominoes. The idea behind it is that you stack dominoes on the rows from the top to the bottom. Then, when the entire thing is filled up, you knock the dominoes down from the top and they all just come falling down. When this entire thing is filled, it's the coolest cascading effect. It looks a little bit like this. Building one of these can be a little bit tricky, but let me show you how I built this one. After designing the fall wall and selecting material, I designed a few pieces for the X-Carve to cut out. These staircase shaped pieces will be the side supports. I'll be using half inch MDF for this entire thing. It'll be a 25 by 25 fall wall, so it'll be able to handle 625 dominoes, not including the field starter. I used the remaining space on the MDF sheet to cut a couple of triangle braces. When the cut was done, I popped them out and set them aside for later. Next, I brought out the table saw and cut all the rest of the pieces that I need. They are all strips of different widths, mostly one and a half inches wide, but a few different sizes as well. When the cutting was done, I sanded the tabs and frays from the CNC cut pieces. Here are all the pieces needed to make the fall wall. Again, this is all half inch MDF. So we have the base that is 16 by 25, the top that is five by 25, a strip that is 2 by 25, a 1 by 25 strip, 22 strips that are 1 and a half inches by 25, the CNC cut staircases, and the triangle braces. I started by attaching the staircases to the base. Everything will be attached using glue and 3 quarter inch brad nails to hold it as the glue dries. The staircases sit on top of the base, and the triangle braces go in the back corners. I did a little test fit to see how it was looking so far. I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. In order to hold the top at the right spot, I clamped one of the steps near the top. Then I could rotate the structure on its back and attach all the steps one at a time. The stairs overlap by a half inch, so there's glue along the seam as well as a couple of brad nails. This will really make the structure sturdy, which is super important because any wobble could cause all the dominoes to fall off accidentally. After attaching the bulk of the steps, the last two pieces are the 2-inch strip followed by the 1-inch strip. I realized that I forgot about one small gap near the top, so I cut a piece to fill the space on the inside. And just like that, this fall wall is done. It looks great and has the potential for some spectacular topples. This could easily be painted to create an ideal background color. I stacked up a column and a row to see how it looked, then just knocked it down for the heck of it. Now for a real test. I brought it over to the back of the workshop, stacked a simple strip design, a field starter, and a lead-up row. Now let's take a look at dominoes in action. That's cool. Um, so yeah, these are, uh, this is, this thing is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That's it. So this thing is pretty cool. Um, I think the effect that it creates with the dominoes falling is really cool to watch. The cool thing about these is that they're kind of modular. So I could make, I could make multiple of these, stack them side by side, 
or stack them vertically or even side by side and vertically. So maybe we'll make something pretty big. I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, that's it for now. See ya. Koji's like, there's so many.